All right, right, all right. So here we are. We're going to level A. Fury Warrior, let's do it. I love Fury Warriors. I've always loved Fury Warriors. Uh, original Vanilla WoW. Uh, original uh, WoW, when it first came out, I played a Priest and a Hunter. That was my kind of dual main of those two. And when those guys got to 60, I went right to a Rogue, actually, and I love Rogues. But once that one got to 60, the last 60 that I made before um, Burning Crusade came out was a Fury Warrior. And her name was Everbright, the same as this one. And I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. Um, I still have screenshots of that of that character. I'm sure somewhere I could probably dig him up. Um, so I, I wanted to do it again, you know, because when I played Vanilla World of Warcraft, I didn't, you know, I was not... I didn't know everything there was to know about the game. I certainly didn't know what the best weapons, you know, and uh, I just played that fun. I didn't really... Oh, thank you for the buffs. Oh, yes, give me the buff lovage. Um, oh, I love buffs. Let's give a food buff in here, too. And let's turn the rain down, although I love rain. But let's turn it down just a little bit. Let's start it over, too. Um, it's raining in a cave. <laughs> Isn't it? But, you know, I, I did some research, a little bit of research, and uh, I want to get Iron Foe, uh, which is a fantastic um, item, and I want to get the Hand of Justice, which both drop off, I believe, the Emperor and BRD. So let's level this guy as fast as we can, and let's run BRD over and over and over again, because we're going to have to run it a thousand bazillion times just to, uh, let's go ahead and kill some mobs while your priests respawn, because we're going to have to do it to, uh, to get it, because everybody wants it. I mean, these are items that are super, super, oh, this is going to be tricky. Oh, we got a lot Oh, I might die here. This was not one of my better uh, decisions. We need to get some more. We can LOS some of these. I don't know if I can run out of range of these guys. Let's try to kill this guy. Uh, use the biggest health potion we got. And let's just see if we can survive. So, oh, no, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it's the casters that are going to get me. Definitely going to die here, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> I was just not paying enough attention. Let's try to get to a good spot at least. No, there is no. I guess the water is about as good a spot as any. So, um, that sucks because I just had a shit ton of buffs, and so that really kind of pisses me off. But I, you can't drown me in the water of a poor mood today. Not today. Not on Saturday. I got my blackjack bubble gum, which I don't, but you know, movie reference. Uh. Let's do it. So, yeah, I want to get the, the, guy, the items from BRD. Um, Iron Foe, uh, we want Hand of Justice. Uh, we're definitely going to go Engineering, of course. Uh, you know, Dynamite. Um, the Helmet's good. We're going to go ahead and get the Title Charm. These are all the things that I want to get. And, um, let's do it. Let's just fucking do it. Um, so I'm not going to do what I do with the, the Protection Paladin, because Paladin, I wanted to, I wanted to tank and grind mobs out to learn to survive in large encounters and to, and uh and i'm not done playing the protection paladin i just want to play the warrior as well i like to jump around and, and, and have fun and learn classes so here i am and uh, let's go <laughs> let's see if we can fight our corpse one of the best things about the night elf is if you die a lot like i do i, I don't usually but <laughs> in that this specific instance i was being a complete idiot <laughs> But the, the will of the, the wisp, the will of the wisp, Dungeons and Dragons, being able to move quickly when you're dead is, is nice. You can get back to your corpse really quick. So let's resurrect in a good spot. Um, is this a caster? I uh, don't think so. It doesn't have any mana. So this spot right here looks pretty decent, right behind this pole. Okay, am I going to get in combat? doesn't look like it. So let's go ahead and take a few potions. The other thing that's nice is now that I've leveled up a character pretty high, I've got some money. I've got a couple, you know, 150 gold or so. I think 130, 150. So we can, you know, we can buy our, this Lobby Warrior some gear. I've got a, a Enchanter up to about 225. Um, so I even gave this character, like, like uh, white boots that were made by my mage and then enchanted it with plus 5 stamina. Um, I created some bracers for my mage. They're level 2. <laughs> And enchanted those with plus five. I got a shield that I enchanted with plus five stamina. Stamina is great at low level. Um, and then I bought this sword, level five sword with plus four attack power. Um, you know, giving you just that, just that little bit of gear makes a massive amount of difference when doing these low level quests. And as soon as I get to like level 10 or 12, I'll, I'll be able to significantly upgrade my gear again with a lot of the green items that come around that level. 
So let's begin this grind again, since I was an idiot. I got killed. Um, we don't really have any buffs, so Buff Watcher isn't... I have a hero. We do have a buff. I'm sorry. We've got uh, Battle Shout, so we'll turn on the Buff Watch. Battle Shout. I actually did manage to kill somebody before I died. But, um, let's get this guy. I know my screen's kind of jumping around. It's just the way I'm early in the morning. A little bit too hyped, so... And you don't really have to, like, rend at this level is probably not even always worth casting, but I like, I like using it. You don't have to. Of course, the bread and butter for low-level warrior is just going to be a heroic strike. Always try to get your charge in to build some rage. And you always want to keep um, battle shot up. So I've, I've got, like, the buff watches tracking battle watch for um, battle shot one. It'll give me a little audio and textual uh, reminder when that drops. So we're just going to going to give a little rend on here, give him a heroic strike. So you can see the, the extra health is what's really helping me here at this low level. The, the plus 15 stamina is giving me like, I mean, you're talking like 200 extra health or something. I have twice as much health probably as I probably should have. If I, After I kill this guy, let's unequip the gear and see the gear that has stamina and see how low my health drops. Um, the casters are going to hurt the most, but I do a lot more damage than a prop battle. I can, I can de kill faster. So Let's go ahead, and I don't have any bandages yet. I haven't even learned first aid yet, so I should take the time to do that. Um, we've got some food buffs. Actually, I have even more food buffs in my mailbox. Here you see I have some items that are waiting for me. Um, this cloak with the extra armor. This belt that I made. Her, I think I bought off the auction house. Level 10, it was actually a really nice belt. And this chest piece that I actually looted when Cute Faith, my paladin, was grinding um, some ore in the dead mines. Which is a great way, if you want to equip your low-level characters with gear, like uh, especially like melee classes, and with cloth so they can level their first aid, just go clear dead mines. I mean, you'll get so much cloth and so much low-level greens that it's just a great, easy way to get that kind of stuff. And you can see that the buff watch has dropped, uh, uh, battle shot has dropped, because I saw the buff watch notification pop up, so let's refresh that. And we've got some eggs so we can cook those up. I think, I mean, cooking is, is certainly a great skill. And whether you want to work on your, your uh, I'm not charging and I should, whether you want to work on your your professions as you're leveling is up to you. For this class, I'm not going to do too much profession. Ooh, level nine. Oh, so. Um, I'm not going to do too much. Uh, I'm really going to try to grind this character, much level this character much faster than I did um, my paladin. So you're going to see me not do a lot of professions right off the bat. And I'll do those later when I get higher level. And so what I'm going to be is I'm going to be an engineer. And probably an engineer and a blacksmith. So I'll probably be a swordsmith. Since my mage, if she ever gets high level, is the armorsmith. So we're going to have a engineer blacksmith. And I have no idea if I'm going the right direction. Because I kind of got turned around when I died. But I think he's this way. Okay. Oh, it's quite a storm we got going in this cavern, isn't it? Okay, yeah, let's take a little gander about. I got turned around, so let's go back this way. I do not know how I got so turned around. Now I'm really confused. And I usually know my way around this uh, particular fell rock map pretty well. But it's all in reference to which way I came in, which direction I'm going. I am the worst person with directions in the real world. I get lost so easily. Um, but that's why I always just... And I don't like... Uh, um, oh, actually, I kind of need that back. And I don't like... Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, my God. Navigation systems. I actually... I'm old school. I like to just pull out a map and look at it. Well, you know, go online, look at a map, and then I just kind of, I have a good visual memory, so I just memorize it visually. Okay, and now it looks like, what, am I heading out of the dungeon? So I'm certainly not going the right direction, am I? <laughs> That's okay, though, XP, baby. I'm getting XP, it's all that matters. Rebuff. Okay, we got our food buff. I'm still waiting for the sharpening stones. I did create another account. This is on a different account than my main account. So the only downfall of that is every time you mail stuff from your main account to this account, it takes like an, you know, an hour. That's, but I wanted to kind of get this on a different account. Just because my main account's getting full. 
I don't think I have many slots left. And if I wanted to, I could log both counts at the same time and maybe uh, you know trade items or if I really wanted to when I'm in town. I'm not going to cheat. And I've talked about that before. I don't ever cheat, so I'm not going to like boost my character or anything like that with my other account. Okay, and you can see that I'm not really having... Okay, let's, let's do what I said before. Okay, so I've got 429 health. Uh, the shield has um, 5 stamina. So now that drops me down to, wow, so we lost 29 plus the 20, we lost 40, uh, 50 health. So 5 stamina, it looks like it equates to 50 health, so 150 health more is what I'm getting just from those enchants, 150. So normally I'd be at like, you know, 200 and something. So it makes a massive difference at this level to have that extra stamina. You know, because it's very easy in Vanilla WoW when you're like level 5 or level 9 like I am now. If you get two mobs on you, especially if one's a caster and you're melee, it could really, you could really get, could, could die <laughs> just by having two mobs on you. So. Let's go ahead and get a couple. We got two mobs, right? And we're going to rebuff our battle shout. And as a warrior, you're uh, very dependent on having a decent weapon. So you can't, you're not like a druid. You can't just kill people with your feral abilities. So uh, having a good weapon that's close to the level you're at is, is very, very important as you level. So be prepared to sink some money into keeping your weapon relevant. Okay, now that we've got the boss, sort of boss, we're going to go ahead and throw in our, uh, in our thunderclap. I'm going to go ahead and nail him with a little rend action. Bleed, baby. Bleed. And rend doesn't last real long, so you see it's already faded off. So just for fun, I can throw it again. But it's just, it's just for, for looks, just for fun, just to give me something else to do. I don't really need to. I didn't really need to do it, you know. But just to show you that it's the skill I have right now, and why not? We've got Manessa's head, and it's still raining, which I love. But I'm getting bored of the rain, so let's try something else. Let's try the day music. Let's make it more uplifting. So, I'll skip this. You can skip this video in one second. Boom, skipped. Okay? The worst thing, the one thing about the warrior that always annoys me is that when you hit her strike, there's such a delay before she actually swings, and I have no idea why that is. Watch, I'll charge, I hit a horror strike. I already hit it, like one, two, I mean literally almost two and a half seconds probably, or two seconds, after I hit the button before the animation actually uh, triggers, which is very kind of annoying, to be honest. So, need to rebuff our battle shout. So do that now. Always keep battle shot up. Should battle shot up for an extra twenty attack power. Nineteen. Okay. Damn it! I don't know everything. I can't. Um. So yeah, we're gonna need to get to level fifty-five today. <laughs> of course, I'm joking. But wouldn't that be nice, huh? If you get multiple targets on you, yeah, I'd recommend uh, probably using maybe one thunderclap. It'll reduce your incoming damage by a tad. Maybe it'll. One or two less attacks, I'm not sure. I don't I haven't really paid that close attention to it. But if I figure if they get ten attacks in, then one with Thunderclap, one of those isn't going to come because it's reducing their attack speed by 10%. Um, so we're going to take the long way back, get a little XP. So we'll Thunderclap these guys. And it does do a little bit of damage, so why not? So here's where you can see, and I got another one on me, here's where you can see that if I had like bandages, they'd be really useful. You know, I could just bandage up after each fight. Um, you know, that way I can, don't have to stop to drink. So it, it's time saved. So first aid is definitely one profession. Probably the only one that I'll really focus on leveling. Like I can make food and stuff on my other characters to send to this character, so there's no need to level up 
those types of professions right now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up just because 45% isn't a lot, and I could easily maybe I got I wouldn't, but you could have by some miracle aggro another one there. Okay, so it's level, 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 drink, drink, drink. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to play today. Maybe, uh, probably, because I want to go out and get something to eat. I haven't eaten since lunch yesterday, which I think I ate at like 10.30 a.m. So it was kind of a brunch. So I am hungry. And I don't have anything at home, really, because I've been spending my girlfriend's most of the time, so I, don't, I haven't really been to the store lately for my unhome, as she likes to call it. Um... But yeah, let's see. What time is it now? It's it's eleven o'clock. So let's play till like maybe two or three, and then we'll see about getting some food. And as far as the key mines, the ones I really like that I use for viewers, because I've played warriors in you know before, so I can kind of remember most of my key mines usually. I actually had a horde orc warrior that I really liked, um, but um, shift wheel down is thunderclap. Uh, shift A, as you can see, shift A is battle shout. A key, since I use that a lot, is just is, is a heroic strike, and the S key is my my rend. If I have a interrupt, like so, like my pummel will probably mouse wheel up because you want it to be on something that's very easy to do. It has to be very quick. You know, you don't want anything to slow you down. If there's a really important raid interrupt, you have to get in or something like that. So mouse wheel up. Um, if I have to throw something, usually it's going to be Shift E. That's what I use for like throwing my daggers on a rogue. So shift D. So what, what I do across my characters is the key binds for the actions are similar. If I'm doing something that's a throwing action, it's shift D. If I'm doing something that's an interrupt, it's mouse wheel up. If I'm doing a stun, typically it's just middle mouse click. Like, you know, um, if I'm wing clipping or rending, what is it called? This one's hamstring. I'm wing clipping or hamstringing against mouse button five, um, which I did right there just to, I don't know, just to do it while I was talking about it, I guess. And we're trying to find our way out. I think we get pretty close. Um, what else? What are the ones? Uh, common attacks are usually mouse button. Uh, mouse, mouse button three. And like on all my characters, I, I bind on, on skill button one here on the bottom left of my screen here. Um, this is my macro that will just attack. So I put the attack uh, action. Like if you go to your spellbook. Attack. I drag that out, put it in slot 37. This is actually known to the game as slot 37. And there's a macro that says if not using um, this action that's in slot 37, then use it. So it's basically if I'm not attacking, attack. So if I do this and I click on my, my, my here, I'm not attacking. If I hit that button, I start attacking. See that? I didn't even have to click since he was tab targeted, I think. Let's go ahead and take this guy out as fast as we can here. I got a lot of mobs around me, so. Don't underestimate this cave. It's actually, at low level, this cave can be quite dangerous because of the casters. The casters are always dangerous to melee class. Do not underestimate the caster. Okay, let's get in a thunderclap. Let's get in a rend. I like bleed damages. I just think it's nice, you know, to have damage ticking all the time that I don't have to renew that often. It may not be the best uh, efficient way of killing, but or even needed in some cases, but I enjoy using bleed attacks. Okay, we're doing a good on health, so we're going to charge this guy. going to rend. And again, Thunderclap's not really necessary for one target, but if you have two or three or four, I would probably use it. And we got a hunter coming in here. So we see if we wave, kiss, and move on about our business. It should always be nice to other players because they may do nice things for you. They may not even remember who you were later down, down the road. Say, that's that nice warrior who blew a kiss at me, and then maybe they're more likely to help you if you need help when you're about to die. And some hordes kicking your butt, ski. And actually, this is a little tip here. You can actually fit through this little area here to check this out. And it'll take you back to your to where your quest was. So you don't have to walk all the way around that tree there. You can cut through. I always like to jump on these little... Oh, I missed it, though. I always like to jump on these uh, banisters, whatever you want to call them. Oh. But I had two failed attempts there, so we're not going to try three times. Um, we're going to turn this quest in just to see. I don't remember if he has a, a follow-up quest.
We're level 9. I think we got to get to 10. or 10 is the cape, I think. Here's the belt. I don't, just, I don't care what you give me. Nothing's going to be better than I have. So we do that. And... I know I need the Felcones. Oh, yeah, I get the gem. The unfortunate part with the gem is that my, my um, add-ons seem to uh, screw up the looting of the gems. So a lot of times I have to disable them. Which is really quite annoying, actually. You'll see me charge mobs just to help me move across the map faster. Like, I'll charge, then, ham then uh, wing clip them. What is it called? Uh, I'll charge, hamstring them, and just keep going. You know what I mean? It's, it helps me move around faster. It's one way that you can get a little bit of an added movement bonus with your warrior. Okay, one fell clone. We only need two more. So I'll just look around the bottoms of these trees for your falcon. Yes, Morpheus. We must find the falcons. Um, people, I kill critters because I'm looking for skill skill ups. So if I see a critter, I'll swing at him because if I hit him, it helps my sword skill to improve. Just another stupid little tip that I do. It's a falcon. Oh. <sighs> So again, it, leveling up a uh, third, or fourth character is a lot, a lot of times, a lot more fun than leveling up your first character because on a server, because you've gained money and and you have leveled up some professions, so that you have like enchanting and alchemy, like I've got potions. So it's a lot of fun sometimes to create new characters, you know. It's a lot of fun to create new characters because they have the added benefit bonus of better gear. Okay, let's. See. And it's good to kill the, the owls just for the eggs. Oh, charge. I didn't say my charge is shift mouse wheel up. Anything that's a movement, so like mouse wheel up is a motion forward with my hand. You know, I'm scrolling the mouse wheel forward, so... To me, I'm such a visual person in life that that helps me because it's visually representing what I'm doing in the game. I'm moving forward with a charge, so I'm scrolling forward with the mouse just seems to make sense visually. And you'll laugh, but the wing clip being mouse, mouse button 5 is a little bit more of a difficult key button for me to hit, but which makes it feel almost slightly awkward, which... Is kind of what I'm trying to do with the wing clip is to make someone else feel awkward because they can't move. <laughs> so there's my twisted whole black logic, right? Believe me, <laughs> I've got a lot of twisted whole black logic. <laughs> and that's my own term <laughs> that I made up. So we're going to try to get these guys to attack, but I don't want to get too many of them. Let's see if I can get around this tree here. Here we go. And if I have to, I'll use a potion. I've got quite a few. These guys do heal, so you got to be careful. This, uh, I'm going to get my, uh, get my wing clip going. don't think I'll be able to escape this fight without having to heal. Let's see. You never know. If I can kill this one really quickly, which I whiffed on that swing. Another thing with the warrior is, oh my god, you miss a lot. Looks like I'm fine. So just a perfect example of, like, if I was on my Paladin at level uh, 9, even with this gear, because I do so much less damage on the Paladin, that this fight would have been a little bit more difficult. But my Paladin has the ability to AoE farm, and this, this character really doesn't. Not in the way that my Paladin can. Grrrr. Let's go ahead and use the level potion just because it's annoying me that it's taking up an extra slot in my bag. Okay, he's dead. And what we're hoping to get out of this is some sort of a, a you know, some sort of a green item that maybe we can slot, if we, or maybe some sort of potion. See this? This is actually better. Probably. Well, 
We'll see. Yeah, light hide, whatever. Let's take a look. Um, I don't know attack power. So this decreases attack power. So well, let's find out. Our attack power, our immediate attack power is 43. So we unequip this. We equip this. And our immediate attack power is 43. So it's the same. Damage 5.5. .5. This damage. Oops, where'd he go? 5.5. So basically it's exactly the same. So not really a big difference there. Yeah, here you've got three mobs. So you definitely want to use... Um, first, let's pop Battle Shout. We definitely want to use our Thunderclap. Okay. And again, I like bleeding him. I think one of the reasons I like bleed is that it doesn't take... I don't think it takes a lot. It only takes 10 rage. It takes a little bit less rage than... Than heroic strike and since i miss a lot i would prefer to miss on a 10 rage attack than a 15 rage attack um, i don't know if that makes a lot of sense but when the combat starts i'd try to give that a whirl and if it misses then i'll decide whether i want to do it again or go with heroic strike it just depends on the situation you know but i always feel like for some reason after i charge oh this is going to be not good okay well we got five seconds Let's see if we can get my potion in which we did. That guy's gonna drop. And oh man, this guy hits hard. We're gonna switch to the dream eater. We're gonna bleed him. And we're gonna pray. Pray to God. We need to not miss with with the uh, heroic strikes. Oh yes. Now if I would have stayed hitting the other one, I might have had trouble there because this guy was hitting me really hard. Okay, now that we've got um, now that we've got the Gnarl Pine Necklace, what you need to realize is that for this quest, you need to open the necklace to get the gem, which a lot of people make the mistake of not realizing they need to do that. Um, but if I try to open this, right, with my add-ons that I currently have, it's probably not going to work. So, because one of the add-ons seems to screw that up. <sighs> so we're going to disable any kind of loot type add-on. So we're going to log out. And we're level 9. We'd like to try to get to at least level 20 today. So we have dual wield. Okay. And we're going to go to add-ons. And we're going to get rid of Atlas loot. Anything that's a loot type add-on. Um, Hands tooltip I think is the one that causes the problem. But we're not sure. But just in case. We're going to get rid of the Tellos Loot Link Enhanced. One of these guys screws this up, so that should be good enough. Drink some water. I'm out of Coca-Cola. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a software vendor. All right. Um. So now we're going to right-click, left-click. Now we're going to log back out to re-enable our add-ons. I know it's annoying, but this is the way it works for the specific quest. And it's the only time huh, that I run in, excuse me, it's the only time I've run into a loot problem with these add-ons is this quest. This, I have not found another quest where there's an item you loot that you then have to open up to get a quest-related item. So another thing that where it does it's a little funky is when I disenchant stuff. If I shift and, you know, left click to disenchant, even though the item window comes up and doesn't go away like it should, it does put it in my inventory, so it's a little bizarre. Okay, so let's go to Atlas. And let's go to uh, Dance Tooltip and Talos. These give me additional information when I hover over bat, um, items and stuff. It tells me how much the items are worth that, to a vendor. It tells me how much they'll disenchant in two percentage based chances and some of those. Oh, that might be a chat tricks. Right, I'm yawning again. Okay, so we need, I always forget that there's another part to this quest. Okay, which is that we have to kill seven, which we did. Another mistake people make is they get the jewel and they run off. At least I do it. And then you're like, oh shit, I only killed five or six. And then you got to make your way back here. So I'm just going to kill these guys because they're clustered together and I can get some good uh, XP. So let's go ahead and 
take these guys out. Another tip I can give you when you're leveling is when you're heading back to town, kill all the monsters on your way. Um, it, you'll be surprised, but it does help you level faster. Because you're already going that way anyway. So. Let's pull all three. And again, you would not be able to do this if you didn't have the better gear that I have from enchanting the stamina. But since I've got all that extra health, I can do it. So I would say that Stamina is, is really a great stat um, early on for any class, really. And then, uh, excuse me, I'm really still sleepy, I guess. I may actually take a nap here in a bit. And then I would say for a warrior, after uh, getting a little bit of Stamina in the beginning, I would, you know, go get, you know, start adding Strength. So Strength and Stamina, you know, you're going to go for the same type of stuff I went with on my Paladin. And let's just charge this one so we get closer to where we need to go. Then we'll go ahead and hamstring that guy and get out of here. Mm -mm, take a little bit of damage. Mm, we can always use a potion if we have to, but I'm thinking we might be able to slip away without one. Using a little, you know, parkour. Parkour! Always got to parkour when the, op when the opportunity arises. Health low. We're still in good shape. I'm just running this guy in circles. And I think that's it. We should leave combat here in a second. I think. I hope. Hopefully this isn't like one of those murlocs. Oh, wait. Ah. And Herbalisa. Do you think she might be an herbalist? Helps me out. I can't talk. Too low level. I'll help her out here in a second. Since she helped me out. Clear some of these out for her. Okay, just let's grab a bunch of these guys. This is where an AoE attack would be really nice. You know, something I could wing all hit all three of them, you know. Here, it's a little bit screwy, a little bit wonky here. All right, so as you can see, we did get quite a bit of XP just from grinding some mobs. Got another healing potion, my small one. Which, uh, where is it? We got some stuff in our inventory we want to get rid of. I think did I get my? Did I get this already? I believe I did. I'm looking for the... I don't see it in my hair. 
fill this at the Arl of three in, which should be, it's not this one. I think I already did this one, Star Breeze. I think, yeah, I just want to make sure. Okay, good. Um, the Arl of three in should be the one up north by the Oracle Glade, maybe? Pretty sure. Now, I do have the Hearthstone, so I could always hearth back, but I don't like to use my Hearthstone here. Make sure you always set your hearth to uh, Dolinar when you first get to Dolinar. Because you'll want to head up to Oracle Day, do some quests, and do stuff in, in Darnassus, and then hearth back to Dolinar. Because there'll be quests that you, you get in Darnassus that'll tell you to go back to Dolinar, or the areas around Dolinar. So, I still need some seed cones. And I, there's one there, <laughs> seed cones. Need to plant my seed. I've been playing that, uh, doing the Margrind quest too much, my paladin, know. So we're going to grab this one. I think we only need one more. Okay. Okay. Fell the cone. Fell wood. Fell reavers. It's a good story design to use similar names it's pretty much linguistics 101 i would think let's kill this guy for eggs really quickly that's something i'd like to do i mean besides going back to school for animation i, I would love to for, for drawing animation learning how to draw better um i would like to go for linguistics J.R.R. Tolkien did a lot of, of linguistics, and I think it's a, a good way to increase your uh, knowledge of um, of a culture, which helps for storytelling. Um, if I could start my life over, only if I would know exactly what I would want to do, which would be impossible because I'd want to be a musician, a painter, a video game designer. Um, and a beach bum. All at the same time. All right, let's. Get rid of a lot of the stuff we don't need. We'll keep on Apple for now. We're not quite level 10. Oh, we don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need water. <laughs> um, oh yeah, we don't need that sword. Let's repair. Sell this. Sell this. Okay, and this is level t 11. 10. Okay, so level 11 we can equip two items. Level 10 we can equip one. Okay, we now have these which are usable at level 5. Let's, let's grab both. Um. Also, we, I grabbed I set myself a sword here, which is level 11. This will really help out. And get some more potions. Um, I don't know where I can learn first aid at, I think. Let's go back here. Oh, money. Monies. Um, I think first aid is in this building right here. And I always put my buff type stuff in one bag. So potions, different things, scrolls and such. Should be this guy right here. Yep, first aid trainer. Gonna train. Okay, we're gonna go. We always put my uh, professions on the second bar here. Um, this would be a third profession. Uh, the, way I, the way I rank them is uh, my main primary profession, I always put on the A key, my secondary profession, D, and then other ones like first aid would go S and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and. Level up my first aid. Eat some Cape Cod kettle cooked potato chips, sweet and spicy jalapeno. They're really good. So we'll turn these two quests, and then what we're going to do is hopefully we'll be 10. Probably not, though. I'm going to grind to 10. I don't want to go over and do the, the Relics of Awakening without being level 10. 
I may jump over to my, my mage, my priest real quick and see if there's some more gear I can buy. I would like to make the Relics of Awakening a little bit easier because there's a lot of mobs that you can aggro in there. So getting a couple more green items that I could equip right now at level 10 um, would be beneficial. So what I'm going to look for is anything that's not green. So gloves, gloves, belt I've got in my inventory. So gloves, better pants, and a chest piece. I don't. Um, I do have a chest piece at level 11. But, so I'll probably hold off on the chest piece. So gloves, bracers, and boots. Because I can re-enchant those guys. Gloves, bracers, boots. Let's look for that. Gloves, bracers, boots. We'll go ahead and stop the video. And when I come back, hopefully I will have the new gear, if I bought any. Enchanted. I'll, oh, I forgot, since I'm not on the same account. Um, it'll take too long to mail it to me, so let's just let's do it, but then we'll just go ahead and start doing some of the other quests. And I may skip the Relics of Awakening until that new gear that I buy, I'm, I am able to send over. Uh, I think that makes sense. But first, I think when I get to 40 here, I can then maybe learn the next. Let's see. Yeah, Heavy Lead Advantage, so let's go ahead and make heavy lead bandits. Now, control R is usually what I use for bandage. So we're going to put this here and we're going to put these here. So what, I, what I'll do is, after I'm done making these, is I'll really quick change this key bind to be control R, but I want it to be control R over here. I'm not sure what that control key bind is. Control R is always like resurrect or bandage on my characters. So let's go to macro, not macros. Oh my goodness, what am I thinking? Let's go to key bindings. I'm going to go to right action bar, right? So control R and this one, sh no, right? Control middle mouse. Okay, so this one's going to be control R. Also make sure that character specific key bindings is checked. You don't want to change your key binds for all your characters. You're just trying to change the key bind for the specific character. So now if I want to bandage, control R, and there you go. I hit control R and I just click my, my target window. Um, that's very helpful. And let's see. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Um, well, actually, I need to turn this one quest in, so let's go upstairs real quick. I'll stop the video after, probably after we turn this quest in. The shields in Vanilla WoW are just so hideous. I mean, look at this thing. What the hell? What is it? Is it like a, the bottom of a metal skillet? I mean, it just looks really silly. There's not even a... There's not even handles on it. I mean, how do I even hold this? It's like freaking Discs of Tron, you know? It's crazy. So they really kind of drop the ball on the shields, in my opinion. Okay, turn this in. And he doesn't have any more quests, so back. Actually, that did give me quite a bit of experience, so maybe I will ding level 11. Um, let's find out. Go ahead and turn this one in real quick. We're going to kill these mobs here for some eggs for cooking. Um, just because they're on the way, it's easy. There's no reason not to. Change my action bar. So I was on the wrong action bar. Zoom out the camera. for eggs. We got a couple small eggs. You can kill these guys for the spider legs too. Either one's going to help raise my cooking. I like to get it just up a little, a few points so I can... It's not that really it's necessary, but like I said, these guys are on my way to the quest giver, so why not? I'll wait a second for the charge to come up, then charge. Because your charge is only one or two seconds away, but it's best to wait, and then and when it comes up, then go ahead and charge. That extra rage to start combat is makes a huge difference. Yeah. Our gear is very bizarre looking. One thing that was cool with Divinity Original Sin was the the way they did the elf character models. They made them very tall and, and, and lithe. They made them, let's do this really quick, we don't want to get, because he'll, I'm not sure if you can. Okay, well, I'm seeing something that's really interesting. Are you seeing it? And I've seen this happen before. <laughs> Notice that I dinged, but look at my bar. It says I haven't dinged. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. 
So let's reload the UI. That should fix it. And it still says I have not dinged, so there's a little glitch there. Okay, so buff watch, turn buff watch back on. My favorite part of the song's coming up. Clear our belt. Wait. Oh. Oh, now are you I haven't dinged. It actually said I dinged. I didn't really ding though, so I'm gonna be able to ding twice, but only get point. <laughs> That's hilarious. Actually, it wasn't the favorite part of the song. Hmm, didn't do that. Okay, whatever. Um, so let's kill some people. So we can ding. Again. Let's see, let's get a screenshot of it. Just so we know that we dinged. <laughs> okay, that time we definitely dinged. Equip our new belt. Alright. We're level 10 though, so now we can use talents as well. And we are going to go Fury. So what you're going to go to is, is, is basically... Well, I'll have to look on guides, but I would think cruelty would be where you'd go. You'd go right into cruelty. Um, okay, let's go ahead and head back. Clear my any inventory stuff. I also want to look at... Um, I want to look at my mailbox. Wow, I've got 5.29 gold. <laughs> Trust me, at level 10, you won't have that much gold. So we got some food here. Uh, scroll agility. Let's go ahead and take these. For when we do relics of awakening, we'll buff, buff up with those. Uh, we've been blown through healing potions, so let's grab some more. Like I said, I've got quite a bit of healing potions, so I'm not too worried. Oh, scrolls of strength, stamina. Take these. Uh, we don't. We need more of the low level cloth. So the warrior's going to give me a warrior quest. Okay. And rent two. Blood rage. Ooh, what do I put blood rage on? Let's see. Let's just do shift D for now. Usually shift A, shift D or buffage type skills that I use. Hmm. I don't know. Actually R. Maybe R is what I usually use. We're going to leave it on R for now. And we're going to put quest items like this that I have to fill stuff up. I usually put on my hotbar. So Z. Let's go ahead and sell stuff. Actually, is that... Okay. I could probably sell that in the auction house, believe it or not. It's level 11. So let's put this here. We're going to... Oh shit. So then, oh, small spider. Let's go do the cooking real quick. I need to send these herbs off to my herbalist. So we're at, we're at three hours, 58 minutes play time. Okay. Unavailable. Okay, let's put cooking on here real quick. And we're just gonna do two. Okay, so we need some mild spices. Alright. Let's do that. And, you know, it's, it's not bad to cook these low-level items when you first begin just to get the food buffs from them. You know, it's nice to have the extra... The extra two stamina definitely helps. And you can see I've got lots of food buff. This is probably about four stamina? Yeah, four stamina. Once I get to level 15, I've got some other food I can use. Tasty omelets or something. It's time to level more of BS.
Okay, now we're gonna do this guy. Train me. Did I never... Yeah, I was gonna say I never learned the spider kebab recipe. Alright, so let's go ahead and make that. And that's all I usually like to do, is I like to just go through the eggs and the spider legs here before I leave this area. It's just, a, you know, might as well. Um, let's go ahead and get this uh, vendor real quick and just vendor some stuff we don't need. I, I'm not going to bother trying to sell that, although I'm pretty certain I could sell it. <clears throat> Alright, good enough. You know, for like a couple silver or something. I'm not that desperate for money, but you know, it never it never hurts. Just having money come from any source, even if it's just a couple silver, it all adds up. So, okay, uh, I need to defender this too. And we can get rid of that one mild spice because it's taking up inventory space. Uh, Timberland seed. So let's send the stuff to my to my druid. All right. We're gonna go here. This mail. This is my druid. Who I need a friend because I haven't friended yet. So friend Rue, and let's send this to my hunter, Cheryl, which I haven't friended yet. So friend Cheryl. All right, now we're going to stop the video, and I'll be back in a few minutes.